सो ही गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आशीष मसी कार्स टूडे विल बी डूंग डिटेल वॉक अराउंड रिव्यू ऑफ द 2021 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन टाटा नेक्सॉन एक्स एम वेरियंट सो दी एक्स एम वेरियंट स्टैंड एट द सेकेंड बेस मॉडल इन द टाटा नेक्सॉन वेरियंट लाइनअप एंड इज फॉलोड बाई दी एक्स एम एस वेरियंट विच इज स्टैंडिंग नेक्स्ट टू दिस कार सो यू कैन हैव अ लुक दिस इज द एक्स एम एस वेरियंट बिकॉज दैट ऑल्सो हैज एन इलेक्ट्रिक सन रूफ बट दी एक्स एम वेरियंट इज अ वेरी highly selling model and uh, it has proved to be very lucrative for tata motors in the tata nexon variant lineup because this has all the features which will satisfy the basic necessities and basic requirements of any customer and you won't need to make any modifications as such if you purchase this xm variant coming to the technical specifications this car has been offered in two engine options mainly one of which is the 1.2 liter three cylinder revotron turbocharged petrol engine which produces somewhat around 120 ps of power and 172 newton meters of torque but on the other hand you also have the option of a 1.5 liter diesel block which produces somewhat around 110 ps of power and 260 newton meters of torque but one big benefit with the tata nexon is that this car offers the turbocharged petrol engine from its base variant so the turbocharged petrol engine has been offered across all variants which is unlike the kia sonnet as well as the hyundai venue in which you have been offered the 1.2 liter naturally aspirated petrol engine in the base variants so if you are looking for a lower variant of a compact suv the tata nexon will make slightly more sense over the korean duo so that is one thing i wanted to mention in this video now let's begin with the key itself this is how the key looks you get a very good looking and premium key over here which has three buttons lock unlock and the button for follow me home headlamps so follow me home headlamps have been offered and one hidden feature in this key is that you can long press this button and unlock the boot of this car so you could have heard the sound of the boot unlocking so this is one feature not many people know about in the lower variants of the nexon and this is a jack knife foldable key and the other key happens to be the conventional normal key which has been seen in tata cars for many years now so this is how the key looks now let's start with the frontal overview let me just switch on the foliumium headlamps and this is how the headlamp setup actually looks you get a tri arrow led drl over here which is standard across all variants so this headlamp setup you will see on all nexon variants but the only change will be the fact that on the higher variants you'll get the indicator on the tri arrow drl itself and the projector headlamp here is a halogen unit but you always have the option of upgrading it to a hid unit because as you all might be aware projectors are generally successful with hid units only not with led but you have been offered a halogen beam over here and moving down below there is no fog lamp offered as such but you get this halogen indicator which has been shaped like an arrow again so tata motors has followed this tri arrow theme across the car in many places and this is how the lower part of the bumper and radiator grille looks you get those tri arrow elements carried on over here as well gaining your attention to the central fascia is this glossy black grille which has been complemented well with this chrome finished humanity line so the tata humanity line is something which you have seen on most of the tata cars so you get that similarity over here as well So this is all about the front end of this car. The car looks pretty imposing and aggressive and I don't think anyone will have any issues with the front fascia of this car. Let's move to the tire size and we'll talk about the other specifications which have been offered over here. So here we have been offered 19560 R 16 inch steel rims. So this is the silver wheel cap with this black steel rim. The 195 width is also pretty good. No issues with that and you have been offered front disc brakes and rear drum brakes on this car moving on to the ground clearance which happens to be one of the highlights of this vehicle you get a 209 mm best in segment ground clearance of this car so that makes this car very capable for bad roads so in case you're living in some village area or you like to travel to places where you don't have proper roads the nexon can be a very good option for you now the orvms are electrically adjustable as well as retractable so when i lock the car you will hear the chime and the orvms are fold electrically and when you unlock it you will you'll see the orvms welcoming you towards the car so this is one feature again which is a good touch because this is the xm variant as i've mentioned and this is the second base variant of the car only as we move below 
you can have a look at this uh, cladding of it which lends a bit of ruggedness to the car let's get into the car and talk about the other features which have been offered so this is how the door pad of the car actually looks you get very basic finishing over here nothing extraordinary but as you move to the higher trims you'll get a dual tone plastic finish over here along with the fabric which has been used on these touch points but nothing of that sort on the xm variant we get this gunmetal gray plastic accent all four power windows we get four speakers on this car so this does have an infotainment system not exactly an infotainment system but it has a music system which has been powered by four harman speakers no tweeters but only four speakers as you move on to the higher variants you'll get the option of an eight speaker harman system which will include four tweeters as well here we get a lot of cubby hole space so you can place your bottles over here get place to put magazines as well as an umbrella holder which is a smart touch and you get this reflector over here now coming to the seats there are no height adjustable seats unfortunately on this variant you can only bring them back and forth and adjust the recline angle the footwell has a small dead pedal on offer as well now let's get straight into the car and talk about the other features which have been offered now here i am in the xm variant of the tata nexon let me just insert the key over here so this is how the instrument cluster of the nexon lights up it looks pretty good it's an all digital display and offers ample amount of information about the car you have toggles to adjust the time etc and other details and here you can using this you can toggle through the average fuel economy etc all the information which this mid is supposed to offer but the main highlight over here is the center console which we will talk about let's start with the steering wheel so you get glossy black inserts over here it's a flat bottom steering wheel which is adjustable for tilt but not for telescopic that is one thing which i think car makers now should start offering from the base variants of the car in terms of safety this car is pretty ahead first of all it is a five star rated car by global n capsule so that is something very very exclusive about this car as well as the mahindra xuv 300 which happens to be the rival of the tata nexon as well as abs with ebd traction control you get electronic traction control brake assist hill hold control and many such features such as electronic stability program and rollover mitigation in this car so those features are standard across all variants which really really attracts customers towards this particular offering on the left we have the conventional controls of the wipers and on the right we have the conventional headlamp controls no auto headlamps or rain sensing wipers have been offered on this variant but you do get the option of auto headlamps as well as rain sensing wipers and an electric sunroof as well as steering mounted audio controls on the XM S variant of this car moving to the center console now you get this 3.5 inch screen over here so this is the connect next harman music system offered this has been paired with four speakers as i've already mentioned you get the volume rockers over here and the toggles to browse through this system so when i go to home you can browse through and connect your phone as well so you get this button to connect your phone and you can play audio as well as attend calls etc on this music system through the microphone which has been offered on the roof so this is a very very comprehensive system and if you're not really a big fan of touchscreen systems this will do your work very well moving down below you get manual ac controls nothing extraordinary over here and this is the option to electronically release the boot it only unlocks the boot it does not offer any electric tailgate release or anything of that sort a 12 volt charging socket as well as a usb socket has been offered now one thing about the center console of this car is that it is slightly cluttered the spaces offered over here especially over here is very very constricted so if you have to place your phone or connect your phone via usb or something you'll have to pull it over here to the center console so this is something which can be improved in the tata nexon in terms of practicality you get a six speed manual gearbox along with reverse parking sensors and the display for your reverse parking sensors will be offered on the screen another feature highlight of this particular variant in fact the tata nexon itself across all variants is that you get drive mode selectors on this car so when you change the drive mode you'll be able to see it indicating in the multi information display as well this is the manual handbrake and you get plenty of cubby hole spaces over here moving to the glove box this is how the glove box looks you get ample and more amount of space over here you can keep a whole lot of stuff in this cubby hole which is one plus point with the tata nexon you get a pen holder visiting card holder document holder so everything is allocated separately which makes it very good in terms of practicality 
moving above we don't get any manually dimming irvm which is a slight drawback in this variant when you're paying around 9 lakh rupees on road 9.5 lakh rupees on road you ought to get something like this when you're paying such an amount but nevertheless the sun visor over here for the driver is pretty basic but here we have been offered a mirror as well the reading lamps are leds which is again a thumbs up and a sunglass holder as well as the microphone has been offered so this was all about the front end you get the option of uh, electrically folding your orvms over here as well so this is one feature which has been offered on the xm variant which is definitely extremely extremely welcoming now let's move to the rear end and talk about the space etc which has been offered diving straight into the rear end of this car now the door opens pretty wide so there is no issue in moving into the car or getting out so no issue in terms of ingress and egress you get a power window button over here and decent amount of storage space which has been offered over here the speaker has been offered on the rear door as well as i mentioned you get four speakers in this particular variant of the nexon so when you seat in the rear space of the tata nexon you will feel that uh, this car is extremely extremely spacious as compared to its rivals so as of now the front seat has been set to my height 5 feet and 10 and a half inches is my height so the seat has been set according to that and this is the amount of knee room i have i have ample amount of knee room as you can see even if a 6 feet tall person sits over here there won't be any issue as such but the main positive about the rear seating space is that you get enough amount of under the support which most cars miss on to so this seat has been carved in such a way that you will not feel any crunch in terms of the under the support and even the headroom is good but it's not at par with some of its competitors like the kia sonnet because the car has sloping roof line kind of a finish and the headrest are fixed so you don't get any adjustable headrest or any kind of armrest so these are some features for which you will have to move on to the higher trims of the next on overall the cabin feels pretty airy and four and a half people can sit over here in this cabin pretty easily let's move to the boot space of this car and talk about the other features which have been offered over there so here we are on the rear end of the tata nexon so i'd like to switch on the fall volume headlamps over here for you first and this is how the tail lamp assembly looks like you get this led tri arrow setup over here so you get this led finished with a standard across all variants so this tail lamp setup is standard across all trims of the tata nexon you get an halogen indicator as well as a halogen reverse lamp over here as well let me just close the boot over here once and here you can have an overview of the rear appeal you get this x shaped ceramic element which is finished in gray so that brings a kind of a continuity from the side profile to the rear end so it looks like a very seamless design language and the use of glossy black materials is a lot on this particular car moving down below you have been offered two parking sensors which is a slight cost cutting done by tata motors because there is no reverse parking camera but the good thing here is that the reverse sensors have a display on the 3.5 inch screen placed inside you get reflectors mounted on either sides of the bumper as well now let me just unlock the boot for you you have to long press the formium headlamp button and here you can see the boot gets unlocked this is how the boot overall looks this is 350 liter boot space in which you get bench folding seats as well so you can fold the seats to increase the boot space and this 350 liter boot space is at par with other competitors like the hyundai venue as well as the maruti suzuki brezza but is less in comparison to the kia sonnet as well as the renault kyger no parcel tray or anything of that sort has been placed over here but you do get a boot lamp which is definitely a good touch so this was all about the rear end of this car so guys thank you so much for tuning into ashish masi cars do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching this video